Blue, commiserations, not the result you're hoping for tonight, but what a match and what a tournament it's been for you. How proud are you of what you've achieved here? It's been, it's been unbelievable. Like I've said, I just wanted to win one game, come back after Christmas and that was it. That's the only goals I set, so this is just a massive bit, massive bonus. You've captured the imagination of the entire nation here, what you've achieved. Has it sunk in yet? Yeah, it's sunk in. No one likes losing and I've not, not really lost much, but to lose on that stage, if you can't be angry at yourself. The only thing I was angry with was I was losing a lot of legs with my throw, so then Luke could break, hold, and I'd just be chasing every set, really. You had one double for a 5-2 lead. Looking back, you feel that was a turning point in the match? Yeah, um, the, le the leg before I took out a 1-2-2, two, two. so it was just two treble 18s, double 7, then two treble 18s and just take 10 off, but I just, for some reason, my, my mind went blank and I stopped my rhythm to ask and I didn't take it. And you've had so much support here from the general public, what has that meant to you? It's been crazy. Whatever support I can get, then I'll take it on board. And after what you've achieved here, how much belief has that give, uh, given you going forward now? Yeah, I've won about five or six games here, so why well, can't I go and win another another seven within years to come at this tournament? Thank you. Well Thank you. Luke, commiserations. How much confidence is this giving you to go and attack the tour next year now? It's been it's been a good tournament. I've got gained a lot of experience and a lot of stage experience myself. I'm in the top 32 now, so I could potentially be in there for next year. So it's another busy year ahead. Again, coming into the tournament, you said you had no expectations. Now, when you look back. What's your favourite memory of this whole tournament? Just getting here, or maybe maybe the pluses against Rob to help me to get to the final, but I think it's just losing to a good Luke Humphries tonight. Thank you. Luke, how much are you going to be able to use what you've achieved here next year as your first year on the tour? I'm going to, going to use all of it. I'm going to, it's my first year on the tour next year. I broke into the top 32, so it's just it's been unbelievable the past three to four weeks and now I just can't wait to go home. With what you've achieved in performances you've got in, do you think people are going to be a little bit scared of playing you? If they, if they want to be scared then they can be scared but like I've said the whole tournament I've just got to beat what's in front of me. I didn't do that tonight so go back home and get ready for the tour this year. A few days off darts now? Yeah, plenty, plenty of days off. Thank you. people that have never seen darts before it's unbelievable, like you said, I've caught loads of people's attention, even a, a few lads off the talk sport show, they didn't watch darts, just the football and whatnot, and now they're into the darts. Luke, Thank, Thank you. Luke, back to BBC, um, we've been talking to young players around the country who say they're now inspired, and you have seen the number of dartboards in public sector going down and down. What do you want to see next to kind of keep this legacy possible? <coughs> Luke lit the legacy going forward. What, what more could we do? Just try and win every game I can next this year on the tour. But it was not to be, it's not to be. I've gained top 32 spot and I've still got two years with it. As a society in general, do you think the there will need to be looking more to invest in, capture this imagination that you've helped provide? It's just unbelievable. I hope I've captured loads of young people's minds to get on the board and just try it out and if they don't like it then that's that's what they want to do but I'd advise them to try it because it is a good sport and once you get into it you used to always love it. You've amassed an army of fans um, as part of this which is phenomenal. Going forward, um, how, how are you going to kind of try and capture that because with that comes social media pressures and all the rest of it, do you have to change going forward or you put a lot of yourself out on social media, what do you think going forward? Just gotta, just gotta be myself, be the Luke Littler, what I have been for the past three to four weeks down here. Congratulations, amazing achievement. Thank you, Luke. Luke. Luke, you may not have seen the pictures yet, but up at in St Helens, the youth academy, the kids were out in force tonight till ten o'clock at night, <laughs> playing darts, cheering you on. Should be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from everything you've achieved, inspiring all those kids must make you feel immensely proud. Yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't really know about that. Um, I looked up at the the board, at the CV, and I seen them all, all cheering. It was just, I was just like, that's just it's crazy. And is it a Wednesday or a Thursday? The the academy's only on on a Monday, so I'm guessing Carl Holden put the effort in to put all the boards up, get all the people in, and pack it out. Luca, just in, on the on the academy, the support. Would you like to say anything to them that have been supporting you from up there? A little message for them. Just thanks a lot. I didn't really know. I think it was maybe going into the eighth set then I looked up and they were there so it gave me more of a boost but 
I didn't get over the line, so it is what it is. Thank you. Okay, any more in? Okay, thanks everybody. Look, how the <coughs> it's changed changed me a lot. Obviously now I'm in broken into the top thirty two and the, I've got a bit of money now so everything's just gonna help me and getting into the top thirty two has definitely helped me to qualify for near enough every event of the year. Um it's a, a even though it's a losing start to the year, it's also a good start to the year. So I can only take positives from this game and maybe try and hold a few of my own legs. Is that the best someone's played against? Hmm? Is that the best someone's played against? Um, I don't really know what Luke averaged, but I know. I, yeah, I was I was over a 101 myself, so I knew it was a good game. But averages don't mean anything in darts. You see people averaging lower than lower than another opponent, and they get over the line. Sort of be consoled, or, or Russ Bray had a word in your ear. Was, was were you upset by something, or was, was something going through your mind at the time? No, we just said uh, that's it now, no more breaks. We're we'll go to the end. And Luke, Luke, you might not have won today, but you're going to be favourite in the next time. <laughs> you know, major competitions coming up. Um, how's that going to change your perspective on? Obviously, people have people have told me I've been like the fourth favourite after my first game, but. I don't really look at that. Like I've said many times, I've just got to beat what's in front of me. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. That's one place. Just practice. If you love the darts and you're watching it at home, then why not get yourself aboard and try and be like me or try and be like all the other professionals?